Hello and welcome to day 15 of the Gratitude Explosion. I am so excited to see you have moved so far along as we're changing the way that your brain relates to the world around you, really calming down and settling in. So today we move into the third movement of gratitude. We have arrived in the moment, we've embraced the moment, and now we're in the place of responding. So I'm going to draw a big distinction this week between reacting, between reacting, where, you know, we've all been in that place. We have that knee-jerk reaction. It feels automatic. And sometimes we've acted before we've had a time to think about what we want to do. And often we're left feeling like we really wished we had taken another road. We had done something different. So that's what we're going to call reacting. And you've already done some great work to slow down your reactions, to create a sense of support, and not to have to make so many quick reactions. So now it's all about stepping into responsibility for our actions. And I don't mean this in the sense that your mom might say, you need to take responsibility for your room and clean things up, but rather in the sense of response-able. So this is something I'd love for you to begin to think about as you are going through your day. Am I able to create a response that I'd like to have, or am I automatically reacting? So we're going to start off slow this week, and for today, when a decision of any real weight comes up, let yourself drop back into your safe space, that place you created last week. Remember all the people that are supporting you. And then ask yourself, what are three choices that I could make in this moment? You can always choose the first one that comes to you, the one that you would have done anyway. But let yourself see if there's anything else that comes to mind. And you can be really silly with this. You can come up with crazy solutions. You could say, well, you know, that person is being really like kind of crazy with me. I don't know why they're saying the things that they're saying. Um, you might say, well, what if I just ask them a question about what they're saying? What if I take a breath and pause before I respond? What if I choose to agree with something they said? See what happens. See if it takes out all the energy out of their, their um, argument. Or you might say, like, what if I walked out of the room? Or what if I hopped on one foot? What if I made funny faces? Would be like a complete pattern interrupt. Probably people wouldn't know what to do. You might break their state. Not telling you to do any of those things, but just to begin to notice all of the choices you actually have in the place that often it can feel like there's only one. So just begin here today. Start to notice those alternate choices you have. Make whatever choice you choose. No, no worries, you don't have to choose from the new ones, but just see if you can come up with some and try it out. Give us some feedback on Facebook and we'll see what happens as we dive deeper into this through the week. Until then, have a great day.